Oh, cool. cool. This is DJ Kano. We're playing some Division 2, as you can see. Um, I am about to do an invaded mission, and specifically because I need Black Tusk to show off this build. So, let's jump in, see how it fares. It's been doing so good so far, but uh, I am running Heroics without a Reviver Hive. So, uh, I am Squishy. This is a, basically a new build, and we're going to see how it fares. Like I said, all right, let's get into this. And if it does pretty well, I'll show you guys what it what it looks like, what it's what's going on. Okay, so boom, perfect. I'll take that. So I don't know if you guys notice it. We are on heroic. You see how much life came off of that dog? The purple dog on heroic. I just killed the dog with two jammer pulses, by the way. Yeah, yeah. I like it a lot. I don't know if there was a change in the game, or maybe it's because of the the skill. I mean, the way the builds put together. But I I never known the jammer pulse to do that kind of damage before. So I think uh, I I underestimated the jammer pulse for sure. Okay, so wide range. Let's get in here. Kill the traps. Okay, so you could probably guess already what some of the things is that I'm wearing. But I will go over it in better detail in just a little bit. Didn't get the guy that was shooting me. It's okay. Got him. Okay, got both guys that were shooting me. Very nice. Just the pumping out some statuses. There you go. Pulse again. Guy on the left. I haven't even shot him with my gun yet. And he's already... He's a red. Yep, granted he's a red. But he's drastically losing health. Alright, so... This... Build. I don't know yet what I think I already named it, but I think I need to get a better name. But uh, whatever you want to call this build, it is actually very good for Black Tusks because Black Tusks have a lot of the mechanics, uh, mechanical things when you play in the game. Uh, they have the tanks, they have the dogs, you name it, right? They have drones from the drone makers. So there was all, always a really great need to use the Jammer Pulse against the Black Tusks. So let's take a look at what I'm using. All right, so. It is a skill build, like I mentioned, all yellow. I'm really not going to do much weapon damage at all. However, we have the OP weapon, the Scorpio, which has um, incredible damage that comes with it. But also it has the poison, the disorient, the shock. It gives you statuses as you shoot it and get more hits. Right. So we know this. We've used this before. A lot of people use this. But uh, the Scorpio is a really, really good weapon. Uh, for this build, right? I just have the grudge. I happen to have it as a backup because it has has the perfect vindictive on top of it So uh, killing an enemy with the status effect will give you more more crits for 20 seconds It's not super crucial to have it, but I figured it's a good secondary weapon and I just have the Card pistol which I don't need because I already have the uh, technician and a six skill tier um build all right so you could have already seen during the gameplay i have the vial mask on it was showing up with that toxic delivery icon above everybody so every time someone gets hit with the jammer pulse the vial mask will apply this toxic delivery and they'll lose damage over 10 seconds wait sorry yeah over 10 seconds right so they'll be losing damage every time i hit them with the pulse and i can hit the pulse quite frequently because i have uh, skill haste mods on here. So skill haste mods, skill haste mod. All right. I'm getting skill haste from the three pieces of um, Hanayu. So skill haste, skill damage, weapon damage, as you can see, as my brand set bonuses. So skill haste, skill damage are important for a damage build. Hanayu is very good for a skill damage build. And of course, Wyvern is also very good. Skill damage is just from one piece. Two pieces give me status effects which are what I want because I'm running the Jammer Pulse, which is a status effect. All right, so those are the pieces you would like to use for this build. Uh, how you roll it, that's really up to you. Do you want your status effects to be more effective 
or do you want your damage to hit harder? So you decide. Okay, so I got skill damage, damage, status effects. I got status effects, skill haste. I got skill damage, skill haste. Skill haste, status effects, right? So it really depends on how you want to roll this. Okay, it's up to you. Um, I have it pretty well balanced, right? So I think there's about three rolls of skill damage, three rolls of skill haste, three, three rolls of status effects, all right? Uh, creeping death is what I recommend for this build because everyone in the room will get hit, basically, right? So when you apply a status effect, it also applies to enemies within eight meters of your targets excuse me all right so I, i'm basically this helps me spread the pulse every time i hit it which is very very nice and the talent that i've never really used before that i'm kind of liking is tag team so tag team the last enemy you have damage with the skill would be marked so if you had seen on the gameplay there's a character an npc that has a little um, skull icon above their head i don't even have to kill them Dealing weapon damage to that enemy consumes the mark, and it reduces my cooldown by six seconds. Six seconds, you might say, that's not very, you know, not a big a deal. But then, since my pulse only has about 15 seconds for cooldown, that six drops me down to nine seconds. So if I get a nine-second cooldown, I can continually use that pulse. Then I'll get a damage again, and then I'll I'll just re rinse repeat. Just keep getting that tag team, and eventually it will knock down my other skill which I'm using is Shock Traps. Sometimes I switch over to Shrapnel Traps because it also has a bleed status effect on it. But Shock Traps are very nice because it spreads very easily too. Okay, so that's basically it. It's really not that complicated of a build. It's just a matter of getting the right pieces. But uh, it's, it's pretty darn effective against the Black Tusk because as you may have seen in the gameplay, I did take out that Purple Dog with just two Jammer Pulses. And I think it's because I've never actually tried rolling uh, skill damage with status effects together. So I think that the, the pulse is doing some pretty decent damage in conjunction with the status effects. So I would give this a shot. So let's, let's um, basically, yeah, well, 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 before I continue on with the gameplay, let's wrap this up. Yeah, so basically that's it. I'm not doing anything super special. I do have the concussion grenade because it uh, applies bleed damage as well. Um, other than that, you know, you can give other skills with skill damage uh, with status effects to try, maybe a stinger hive or so. But these are the things that I'm using. The pulse is really what's making this build shine in terms of being a buster for the black tusk. So... Uh, yeah, give it a shot and see how it works for you. Um, I will wrap this video up right now at this point, but I'm just going to continue on with some with some quiet gameplay. All right, guys, until next time, shoots.
terminals or laptops you find. The more intel we collect on laptops, the better we'll be able to 